Zimbabwe has always been blessed with great players and great midfielders in particular. The list of great midfielders is long. Players such as William Sabanda, Shaw, Kojak, Handriade, George, Mastermind, Shea, Max, Shaluza, Chuma, Joel, Jubilee, Shambo, Six Mtizwa, Hamid, Mazukuru, Donna, David, Chikwama, Mwanza, Robert Gadoka, Titus, Yellowman, Majola, Willard, Mawi, Kumalo, Benjamin, Makanaki, Inkanhera, Ronald, Gidiza, Sabanda, Joe, Kode, Mugabe, Lyad, Samida, Mutasa. The list goes on and on. Archford, Chehuchi. Chimatanda a man who had the football world at his feet but lost it all due to a maverick streak in his character. He stole Circle Cement Football Club's uniform and sold it to Costa Nyandoro who was responsible for buying the club's kit at the time. Do you know that former Black Aces and Dynamo star Archiford Chimatanda is regarded as the most indisciplined player ever to play in the local league since pre-independence to now? He only trained with his teammates on Thursdays before the game to see which player will make the best combination with him and each time he score two goals and above before half time he will ask to be substituted before second half then go straight to the club chairman to ask for his winning bonus OBVA and Akubawa and failure to give him his money he will not play the next game or you give him his bonus times too so that he plays. If you allow him to take his boots home he will sell them and if a kinda kumba kweti mates he will take, steal any valuable he sees then returned after some days without even apologizing. He is regarded as the best midfielder to come out of this country was it not because of his bad boy behavior even more talented than Moses, Razorman, Chunga, Styx Mtizwa, George Shea. He spent much of his time in Embre Musica rank where many believe Virova pickpocket there. May the midfield genius spirit continue to rest in peace and I believe as the country we failed him, we should have helped him to concentrate on his talent than the other side but that was then. He would do warm up on his own, with his own ball. Yes he was a thief par excellence. At one point he stole was it the whole Dynamo's kit before a match at Rufaro Stadium. People searched and saw a team playing with that kit somewhere in Embre. Asked where they got it from. They said, it's Bra Archie who sold it to us. Then another classic one, before one soccer match. He stole the referee's cards, and was playing rough the whole match. Ref couldn't produce any cards because they had been stolen. After the match when people were going back to the changing rooms, he rushed to the ref and gave him back his cards. Finally Blah Archie died in prison. His last robbery antics was when he was released from prison. Before walking out of the compound, he then went into an officer's house for some goodies and was arrested immediately. That's his sad story ended in incarceration. A magistrate sentencing saying before padding sentence, L always admired your football skills Archford Chimatanda. But I did not know that those skills extended to stealing other people's property. Bernard Zikali a former Ziskasteel player and coach made an important observation as I was carrying out this research. He pointed that Archie simply refused to be institutionalized. Even the great disciplinarian and great coach of the national team Joe Rugg gave up on Archie despite giving him numerous call-ups. If Joe Rugg a renowned disciplinarian failed to tame Archie, then no one could. He was a rolling stone starting off at a boys club in Mafakos. Moving to Glenn Strikers in 1977, Black Aces, Dynamos, Bata Power and Arcadia United but he never really found a home. Ultimately, his talent without the commitment could only take him thus far. For a man whom many think was nearly as good as the great George Shea, it is a shame that he never won the Soccer Star of the Year award. Lack of commitment was the sole reason. Indeed his talent deserved better. It was sad to hear about his last days, he had retreated to his rural home. His death signaled the end of this mercurial genius. We might never understand why he behaved the way did. The consensus however is that, like George Best, he was a flawed genius and we will always cherish his immense skills. Skills which made fans call him, Chehuchi, the one as sweet as honey.